Um, so I did a deep dive this week. Um, so it was, you know, uh, trending on the internet again for, for, I don't know why, but for some reason it was trending about, you know, a couple times that LeBron lied, just straight up lied to the media, which got me thinking, I wonder how many times LeBron has just straight up lied to the media. So I did a deep dive. And without further ado, I'm just going to go off here and then we can uh, circle back at the end. But these are the top 10 times LeBron has straight up lied to the media. Number one, getting interviewed while watching Dwight Howard in the 2009 NBA Slam Dunk Contest. Quote, LeBron James is saying in 2010 in Dallas Stadium, I'm putting my name in the dunk contest. Not only did he speak in the third person, but he also did not compete in the 2010 dunk contest. Number two, in the NBA bubble, LeBron is holding the autobiography of Malcolm X. A reporter asks him, what's your biggest takeaway from the book so far? LeBron's response, I read a lot of notes over the years, but this is my first time actually reading from start to finish. He's just um, a very smart man, a very, very... Very smart man. And basically, um, his words in the 60s and, um, and what's going on is, is actually still going on today. He keeps bumbling along for another minute, but LeBron didn't read that book. He hasn't read any of the books that he claims to have read. There's like five different pictures of him before games reading books, and he's always on the first five pages. Like, I don't, I don't buy that he's actually reading these books that he's front to buy. And that response is just ridiculous. That's like me in high school when I didn't read The Great Gatsby. Um, yeah, so basically there's this guy named Gatsby, and he's very rich man, uh, a very, very, very rich man. And, and, you know, it's the 20s. And yeah, like that's some bullshit that I was like spewing off to my teacher to make them think that I read the book when I didn't read the book. Number three, 2016 playoffs. LeBron claims to have watched The Godfather 2 at least six times. A reporter asks him what his favorite moment, quote, or phrase from the movie is. LeBron. Oh, there's just too many different phrases or too many different lines to just categorize one. Reporter, but which is the one? LeBron, I mean, each movie is nine hours long. What do you want me to do? Bro, if you've seen a movie six times, you can at least, like, think of one scene. Like, if you were like, Austin, name a scene from Shrek. I'd be like, oh, you know, the scene where he's trying to save the princess and the dragon tries to to breathe fire on him. Or, or, Or name a quote, like... You know, not the gumdrop buttons, not the gumdrop buttons. Like, if you've seen a movie that many times, you know a quote. Not to mention The Godfather. The Godfather has the biggest layup of a quote all t- of all time. You can just go, you come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding. Like, that's all he had to say. And we would verify that he has seen The Godfather. That's all he had to do. He has not seen The Godfather. Number four. LeBron, on Kobe's 81-point game, quote, I said it before the game even started. I said, he's probably going to score 70. Then when he got to 70, I said, oh, he's going to score 80 now. (laughs) No, you didn't. I'm sorry. You did not predict Kobe's 81-point game. That is so freaking ridiculous to think that, like the audacity to say that you predicted it. It would be like me being like, you know, like, oh, yeah, I predicted, you know, the Phillies making the World Series this year. And he, it, like, the claims, the people, the LeBron stands that say that he actually did say it are like, oh, well, his boys, like, confirmed that he said that. That's actually, like, me being, like, like, like asking you guys to be like, yeah, yeah, like, tell me, tell, tell, uh, tell the media that, like, I actually predicted the Phillies making mm-hmm. the World Series at the beginning of the year. And like, obviously they're going to say yes. They're his entourage. He pays them to be around. Like, what? So then, number five, the second time he lied about Kobe 
on LeBron's now iconic dunk uh, in the Lakers uniform where he's like double clutching and you can see the whole stadium behind him and the whole, uh, you know, both teams behind him. He said after the game, quote, it was like Kobe came down and took over my body for that dunk. Now, obviously, I can't confirm or deny that that (laughs) happened, but it really feels like something that LeBron just wanted to say and just made up to be like, yeah, I'm I'm like with Kobe like that. And that one is a, you decide if that, if Kobe really came down into his body and took over his body for that dunk, because number six on flopping quote, I don't flop. I never flop. I've never been one of those guys. I don't even know how to do it. Number seven, LeBron serves as executive producer on 2 Chainz' Rapper Go to the League. Tells 2 Chainz he should do a deluxe album. He's like, he's like, hear me out on this. You get 14 songs on the album, but then a couple weeks later, you release a second album, just extra two songs, call it the deluxe album. He's like acting like he's the first person to ever have this idea. Like saying he's never heard of anybody ever doing that. Every artist does that. Every artist Mm -hmm. to boost sales drops another album a couple weeks later. That's just like three or four extra tracks. Like that's the little Wayne special. Like Bron, you didn't invent that. (sighs) Number eight. LeBron on why he switched numbers when he went to Miami. Quote, I feel like no NBA player should wear 23. I'm starting a petition, and I've got everyone in the NBA to sign it, James said. Now, if I'm not going to wear number 23, then nobody else should be able to wear it. I just think that Michael Jordan has done for the game has to be recognized in some way. There would be no LeBron James, no Kobe Bryant, no Dwayne Wade if there was no Michael Jordan. LeBron, four years later, then switched back to 23 immediately (laughs) after going back to Cleveland. No way he started that petition. I'm calling bullshit. Number nine, on the shop, Marcus Rashford says, quote, I had one coach and he used to say, put yourself in situations where you're not comfortable. LeBron then responds, oh, oh yeah, that's my favorite saying. That's my favorite saying. Oh, oh, the one random coach that Marcus Rashford has and is like one saying, that's your favorite saying, this, the saying that you just heard for the first time. And finally, number 10, my personal favorite, LeBron saying he would win not four, not five, not six, not seven, and then only winning two championships with the Miami Heat. He lied about Phil about winning the last five. And those are my top 10 times LeBron has just straight up lied. That was incredible. Brave. Wow. Um, brave <laughs> so brave. <laughs> so brave. <laughs> but my question is, all of these lies are just ridiculous things to lie about. They're not even like big things that he's lying about. It's like mm-hmm. when you're like, you know, like a little kid and you're like, you're like, you're like when you're like in middle school and you like haven't had your first kiss yet. And your boys are like, dude, have you like made out with a girl before? And you're like, oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I've, I've kissed girls. I've, I've kissed so many. You're like, and they're like, which one? And you're, and you're like, oh, all of them. And they're like, what was it like? And you're like, oh, yeah, like, you know, you, you kind of lick them. <laughs> you're like, the, you're like the, it's like why are you lying about it it's not that big of a deal yeah. don't lie about it like why why is he lying about not watching about watching the godfather like it's it, bron it's not a big deal like if you didn't see the godfather <laughs> like I, you don't have to I, try to be cool i was gonna <laughs> i was actually gonna bring that up because it reminded me so much of just being at school being at because going to film school that's like all Every kid is like, oh, yeah, Godfather. Like, this is my favorite. Pulp Fiction. Here's my favorite movie of all time. And it's like, okay. <laughs> it's like, it's like these, all these film kids are like, oh, yeah, like, I've seen that movie. I've seen all the movies. And it's like, no, you haven't. Just, just say, 
Yeah, just seen it's okay. Say you've seen that. You haven't seen him. No one's seen I every movie to ever. Him on that though. I definitely related to him on that. The amount of times I've lied to see, like, like one of my friends is always asking me, like, go see a movie. Like, oh, I already saw it. Like, oh, <laughs> just yeah, to get sorry, out of it. Yeah, I mean, the book, the book it. one I did really relate to. I've done that so many times, especially, like, in history class. But it's like, dude. But, oh, at I this point, it's like, I'm not high doing school it for, for... A grade. I got in trouble in high school for plagiarizing my Greek Gatsby essay. So that was... <laughs> That, that would really hit home for you. Did I you actually do it? Core. Yes, I, and I got in trouble for it. Oh, it Jesus. It's super problem. relatable, but it's like, dude, we were doing that because we had to pass to, like, graduate. But, like, mm-hmm. why are you doing it? Like, what are you trying to, <laughs> who, what are you trying to prove? That you re- like, just be like, oh, I just started it. I'm 10 pages in. I don't, I, it's, I'll, I'll circle back with me in a week, like, when I finish reading it or whatever. Or it's like, also... F- seeing that like the book one like it's also funny just seeing him have the book because it's like why do you even have it out like why yeah like, it's so it's so these... obvious you want us to see it you know yeah exactly exactly it's like you have <laughs> the book out because you you want to get asked the question mm-hmm. about the book so like maybe prep something read like a random chapter of the book yeah. so you can talk about that chapter <laughs> um but it's 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 super relatable but it's just like dude why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Why are you just making up little little white lies about everything? And if you haven't seen any of these, because obviously some of them are like, you know, like the 81 point game, for example, him predicting that is like, well, we could have, but it's like just all of these, almost all of these have videos attached. Take the time to just Google like LeBron saying he predicted Kobe's 81 point game. Like LeBron like answering questions about Malcolm X book, like look them up because they are just hysterical to Hilarious. watch because he, it, the, I mean the, the Godfather one is maybe my favorite because the guy asking him the question is clearly an Italian reporter. Who's like, he's seen the Godfather. You know? <laughs> so he's, and it's the final. So you have these like international reporters and this guy is like clearly seen the Godfather and is very passionate about the Godfather. And he's like, no, like give me the, but, but what is it like specifically about the Godfather that you love LeBron? And he's like, dude, come on. They're, they're like nine hour movies. Who's to say, you know? <laughs> yeah. The nine hour, the nine hour take yeah. was crazy. <laughs> crazy. ridiculous. Also the, um, I also really enjoy the, Jordan one. That one is like the most blatant. Just oh, I'm starting <laughs> yeah, a petition. A... I'm starting a petition. Like, no, you weren't. There's no way. And you switched right back. 